So here we are in the Asus Prime A320MK motherboard setup. This is how it appears the first time, mostly. It's now in easy mode with uh, advanced settings uh, hidden away. So here you can adjust DOCP. What's that? It's on disable, okay. The fan profile, yes. If I press it, I can set the fan speed in function of uh, CPU temperature. As you can see, I let it uh, run at 25% up to uh, 45 degrees or 50 degrees and then if it's under load and gets above 50 then it goes to 100 percent at uh, 70 degrees because that's the maximum the processor supports above that it's not really stable okay escape so this is the fan control, the chassis fan, the chassis or whatever you call it. It just so shows uh, an RPM. What do I have plugged in there? Oh yeah, it doesn't have uh, speed control. It's just a three pin fan for uh, speed sensing and that's it. Okay, so the motherboard temperature, storage, as you can see here's the M.2 slot where you can put in a, a PCI Express 4X uh, SSD or a, a SATA one, a cheaper one. Yes, choose and drag your items for boot priority. Yes, I have it booting from the... 120 gig Kingston and the second one the 480 gig is mostly used for uh, games and storage and whatever they are not very fa fast SSDs but uh, they were really really cheap with a good warranty so and good reviews also at writing they are not so good but uh, but overall they are really really fast I mean when you're just uh, starting programs and such, they read at uh, 300, above 300 megabytes per second, so on very good seek times. So the boot menu F8, oh this will exit the BIOS and uh, enter the boot menu, as defaults, save, advanced search fact I don't want that oh here's a overclocking thing I never tried this normal I can't put it into anything else I don't know why it's blocked okay so let's go into advanced mode Here's the BIOS version, build date, here's my processor, it's a Ryzen 5 1600, AF of course, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. So this is practically the Zen Plus architecture with, which has a, better, has a better memory controller, so you don't have to worry about the memory speeds as much this is just fine you don't necessarily have to buy a 3000 plus memory it's of course in dual channel mode just the cheapest memory i could find some i i i don't even know what the brand is a data i think yes so here in the main menu you can't really change anything you can change the language and security where the password is and that's about it here's a miniature hardware monitor 
on the right. Yes, memory, voltage, capacity, other voltages in the system, they look good, really good. Oh yeah, I bought a new power supply with 80 plus certification, okay. I forgot about that, okay. So AI tweaker, here you can overclock in theory, but I never bothered because it, it, it works really, really well, just with the default settings. The processor sometimes go up, up to 4 GHz, not all cores, just a few or one. The most cores stay at uh, 3.69 GHz. On their load, no matter how much you uh, try to overload it or something, it just stays at that frequency, and that's that's really good, as the standard frequency is 3.2. So it's a nice little boost. So performance bias, memory frequency. What's the performance bias? I don't know what that is, okay. Precision boost overdrive. Precision boost overdrive. Auto. It means it will probably overdrive. Max CPU boost clock. Whatever. Platform terminal throttle limit. Auto. Whatever. Let's see what's on the menu. <laughs> Zero. Okay, thank you. That's very useful. Uh, yes, it's a cheap mainboard. So back to the AI tweaker. Yes, DRM timing, DG, VRM stuff. This it, it relates to power. Nothing interesting here. Advanced, trusted platform module. What? switch, erase, whatever, I don't use that, back, come on, back, how do you go back, somebody go back, okay, here it displays the processor information, summary some simultaneous multi-threading auto hmm. or disabled <laughs> yeah. like I'm going to disable this what is this SVM I don't know okay core leveling mode what for to probably to switch off some cores okay and that's it in this menu monitor cpu temperature okay fan q fan this was also on the first menu with graphical interface this is not graphical and here you can also control the chassis fan okay uh, it's not PWM mode. Why does it think that? Oh, because it doesn't have any other one. Okay, I get it. I get it. So let's go back. Can I use the CPU fan in another mode? No. My previous ASUS motherboard supported that. One uh, fan it could control with voltage, not um, PWM. Hmm, interesting. This one doesn't support it, apparently. Okay. Q fan. What? No, cancel. What are you doing? No. What? 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 No. Ah. Okay. Boot. Oh, that was the tuning. They put it, put that in a weird place. Wait, this is how you get back to the menu. 
Okay. So this will start tuning the fans. That's really stupid. It just basically checks if the fan can spin in multiple levels and then I don't know what it does. Uh, okay, cancel. This is stupid. Q fan, okay. Boot. Normal boot after power loss. Well, whatever. Fast boot, Windows boot, whatever, 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 okay. Tool, easy flash utility, what's the setup animator? Huh? Let's enable it, whatever. Let's go here. Flash update. Oh, it can update the... F pff, people were asking me about this. Only the most expensive ma main boards have this feature. But yet, here is the cheapest one and it can update from the internet. Perfect. Perfect. Such a rare feature. You can't get it because it's too expensive. <laughs> Okay, so this is the flash utility, you can update it from flash drive or the internet. Perfect. So, escape? Yes? No. Wait, what? Oh yeah, okay. Yes, you can load an overclocking profile if you have one. This is nice. I just pressed escape, it's much easier than trying to click with this stupid mouse. I don't know why BIOSes don't have a proper mouse controller, but... So this... Oh, uh, yeah, I guessed right. I bought some ADATA RAM, two sticks of 8 gigabytes, and here's the information about it. 1A and... Uh, A1, B1, Okay, whatever. Escape. And that's it. You can modify some hotkeys. Optimize, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I tried pressing F2. So that's what it wanted to do. Previous values. Yeah, that's not good. When I want to enter the setup, I just press F2, F2, and then when it enters and I press it once more, then it wants to put in the previous values. That's stupid, but I don't care. I don't want to mess around in the setup anyways. I'm just showing you now what, what it can do. So here's the fan control, my favorites. Oh, you can add to this. It doesn't really matter. That's lame. Here's the language. And exit. So I modified this option and it will tell me that I modified it. Save changes and reset. Okay. I don't know what it will animate. But that's the end of the vid video, I think. Let's go in. Let's see if it animates anything. And then it's the end of the video. Nope, it doesn't animate anything. Maybe in easy mode. Oh, the background, look. The electrons are traveling at very high speeds. Yeah, okay. Maybe it was like that before. But at least it animates something. Okay. Whatever. Let's see in advanced mode. Monitor. Does it animate anything? Well, the values change, but that's about it. I don't know. I don't know what this is. 
This is something stupid. Discard and exit. Quit without saving? No, I pressed the button by accident. Okay, okay. <laughs>